<laughs> you know, for most high school athletes, the dream is, of course, to then play in college, but nothing prepared a local basketball star for the cutthroat nature of Division I college hoops. His experience made national headlines, but it also brought him home with a message for younger athletes. Ryan Elijah explains. <laughs> After a standout career at Father Lopez in Daytona Beach, Malik Maitland realized his dream of a Division I scholarship, but his full ride to Moorhead State came with a price. Uh, when I stepped on the college campus, first day of practice, <laughs> it was a whole different level. Years of competitive AAU basketball and recruiting prepared him for the business side of college sports, but he wasn't prepared when that pressure to win became physical. Maitland doesn't talk about that day last November, but he did. Did tell police that head coach Sean Woods backhanded him in the chest during halftime of a game in Indiana. Now another teammate witnessed the altercation and said the coach also pushed him twice during that game. So I was very, uh, very, very scared. Uh, you know, very worried. Um, is I couldn't sleep. I couldn't. It was, just, it was just so much, you know, a lot. I couldn't even eat, lost, lose my appetite. Back in 2012, Woods was suspended for this incident when he shoved one of his players in a game. Following investigation into Malik's incident, Moorhead's coach was charged with misdemeanor battery and resigned from his coaching job. And, and that scene just continues on the Moorhead State bench. In March, he entered a diversion program that will drop all charges. He is no longer coaching in college basketball. As for Malik, he felt everything had changed in Kentucky, and he decided to transfer, starting the recruiting process all over again. This time it focused more on people and trust, and it brought him home to Bethune-Cookman University. The, the support system is just crazy, and um, I'm just very, very happy and thankful that you know, I, I'm going to play here next year. That support system centered around newly named head coach Ryan Ritter. He has known Malik for years and also played at Father Lopez, an ideal match for a player looking for a coach that he could trust. It, it kind of just worked out uh, perfect where we had a chance to both kind of start something special here and both being from Daytona um, and, and graduating from the same high school and, and knowing a lot of the same uh, mutual supporters and friends. Um, it really was, you know, kind of the perfect recruitment and, and ultimately for us and I think for him, uh, kind of the perfect ending as well. The other Moorhead State player involved in that November incident decided to join Malik at BCU. Another reason this young man now has a smile on his face once again in the gym. He says he is grateful to God for a second chance that will allow him to help other players. Amazing story. Ryan uh, Elijah is now in studio with Malik this morning. Hey, Ryan. Yeah, guys, what a story this is. We've got Malik Maitland with us and head coach Ryan Ritter. Appreciate you both being here uh, to talk about this. Again, Malik, you and I talked before you made your college commitment. This was a big day for you. It didn't work out the way you wanted, but you've grown as a person. I know you have a message that you want to get out there now. Yeah, um, of course. You know, those kids that, you know, wish they had an opportunity to play college basketball or, you know, do or um, get a recruiter right now. Um, you know, it's, 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 it's not a, it's a big, big process and also it's really huge, to, you know, it's a big decision, you know, at the end of the day. And in the end of the day, you get to come home, you get to play for Coach Ritter, who you've known for years. I know you've got a smile on your face. Now, you say you're relieved now that you've got this finish to this. Right, it's a, it's a, it's a blessing, you know, it's, it's a great opportunity. Uh, for me and my family and just knowing this guy, you know, for, for many years, you know, he's just a great, humble young man that, you know, want his players to do well in the future. Coach, I love something that you said when we sat down. You said you want to win a lot of games at Bethune-Cookman, but more importantly than that, you want to help them off the court and make them better men. Yeah, I think that's what coaching is all about, is uh, we have the opportunity to uh, hopefully positively impact young people. And sometimes we get caught in the uh, wins and losses, but ultimately it's about helping young people uh, achieve their, their, their vision and, and their goals and, and hopefully change their lives for the positive. There's pressure in Division I athletics. There's no question about it. Yeah, I mean, the, the pressure obviously mounts to the higher level you go. And, um, but I think with our process, with the way we treat people, with the way we're going to run our, uh, our, our program, I think wins are a byproduct of, of what we're doing on an everyday basis. Malik, what are you most excited about now to start fresh here at Bethune-Cookman? Uh, just the people, the environment, uh, just giving back, uh, just, uh, it's a joy, you know, it's, I'm just excited for so many, you know, different things to just show people who I am as a person and as a leader and as an individual of, you know, a follower of Jesus, 
you know, I just want to, you know, set foot as a, as a leader and, and be that guy for, you know, Daytona. Coach, I know you wanted to recruit him out of high school, but you knew he'd go off to Moorhead State, and you wished him the best at Moorhead State. Uh, through all this, you're getting a player that has uh, persevered through a lot and probably is a little tougher than what he was a couple years ago. Yeah, absolutely. You just hit on it. Um, I guess it was five years ago as a freshman. I knew he was going to be a pretty special player. I was at Daytona State, um, and we recruited him, but, but we knew ultimately he was going to go to that Division One level. And um, now to get him uh, coming back after experiencing those um, adverse situations, we, we know we've got us a, a, a tough one, but a, but a great young man that can help lead our program in the direction we want to go. Appreciate you both for coming in, Malik, for telling your story as well. Watch out for Bethune Cookman next year. They're going to do right. some special stuff. So Definitely. great to see you both. Great and to see you. Malik, appreciate you sharing your story with us, Bob. Amy, back to you. Awesome.